adding and subtracting polynomials. Adding and subtracting polynomials is just a matter of combining like terms with some order of operations considerations. Let's take a look at some examples here. The first one here, see, it is negative x squared minus 3 plus 3x squared plus 4. So these two, you have two polynomials. So here we have like terms. These two are like terms because they have the same variable x and same power 2 so we can combine them negative x squared plus 3x squared is just 2x squared negative 3 plus 4 is just plus 1 that's the answer next one here we have minus when you have minus the easiest way is just multiply that negative 1 the negative to all terms inside the parentheses multiply by this one and then multiply by this one and then combine like terms so here we have 3x cubed plus 4 negative times 4 is negative 4 and negative times negative is positive is plus 5x cubed so 4 minus 4 these two cancel out and these two are like terms so 5 plus 3 is 8 the answer is 8x cubed Again, we have negative here, so write the first one, 3x4 plus 5x squared, negative times x4 is just negative x4, negative times 6 is negative 6. Now, combine like terms, these two are like terms, 3x4 minus x to the power of 4 is just 2x4. x squared, we don't have any like terms, so plus 5x squared, and then minus 6. Next one here. This one is addition. So first find the like terms. Do we have a power of 6? No. The degree of 6, just write it down, is 5x6. Now these two are like terms. Negative 2x to the power of 4 and 5 to the power of uh, 5x to the power of 4. So if you combine these two, you get plus 3x4. And minus 7x. We don't have any other x. Let's take a look at this one. Write the first one. 8x squared plus 7x. This negative times 4x squared. So it's negative 4x squared. Negative times 5 is negative 5. Now combine like terms. These two are like terms. Negative 4 and positive 8. So it is just 4x squared. Do we have more like terms? No, just 7x plus 7x and minus 5. This one again, we have addition. 3x to the power of 5 and 3x to the power of four, 5 is just 6x to the power of 5. Then we have negative 4x. And here we have negative 6 and positive 4, which gives us minus, minus, it is 2. Negative 6 plus 4 is minus 2. 